I remember that it was around the time that I had just moved to Las Vegas. Like, I had only lived here for like two months. I wanted to investigate the art scene, and apparently land art is a really big deal in Nevada. So I googled land art near me and read an article by Kristen Peterson written for the Las Vegas Sun online about must-see landscape art in Nevada. First on Peterson's list was City by Michael Heiser. According to Peterson's article, Since 1972, Michael Heitzer has been creating one of the largest works of land art in history, a complex of minimalist, abstract structures more than a mile long, designed to last millennia and reference ancient monuments, modern urban infrastructure and the surrounding mountainous landscape. On private land in Lincoln County, so perfectly placed within the stark landscape that those who've been able to see it say it's only visible when approached, City is a story of perseverance, a project the Los Angeles County Museum of Art has called Heitzer's magnum opus. At one point, City was threatened by the potential installation of rail lines to transport nuclear waste to Yucca Mountain, an effort that was defeated by lawmakers. Michael Govan, director of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, refers to City as one of the greatest artworks of our time, saying its importance extends beyond art history to history in general. It demands to be experienced, this testament to civilization isolated in the desert. But it will remain sealed off from the public until completion, guarded by the artist alone. I thought to myself, if the director of LACMA thinks that City is one of the greatest artworks of our time, then it must be true. I'm sold. Let's go! I immediately used Google Maps to plot the directions to City, and then I jumped into my car and took off. The city is located four hours north of Las Vegas, and the sun started to go down around the time I was approaching City. I could see long shadows cast by the setting sun as it draped over the monumental building-like structures within the compound. Driving around and looking at the structures in City, the light fading quickly, I decided it was time to turn back and attempt the four-hour drive it would take to return to Las Vegas. Near the entrance to the compound, my car was suddenly surrounded by rough-looking, dirty people with expressions of bitterness and contempt on their faces. These city folk swarmed my small car and began to pound the hood and roof, while also hitting the windows of the car to smash them and drag me out. In the distance behind me, a bellowing laughter rang out and multiple gunshots echoed from deep within the city compound, encouraging the swarm to release me from the car in order to savagely and publicly revel in my murder for trespassing on King Heiser's sacred land. I managed to narrowly escape the horde and I drove my car at 120 miles per hour until I was far, far away from that scene before I realized what direction I was fleeing in. I had made my retreat to Tonopah, Nevada, and I spent the rest of the night in the only hotel in town with vacancy, the world-famous Clown Motel. The next day I woke up as early as possible and watched the sun rise on the drive back to my other world of wonder and weirdness, Las Vegas.